Hey yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Booth back here with another build video and today we have the Durantula, the Slim Reaper, the KD build that I have nerded, tested out, every threshold, everything that you need. This is the one. This build can dribble, dunk, shoot, do it all basically. And I mean, this is pretty much what KD plays like IRL. Let's just hop into it. I'm gonna show y'all everything so you know yes we want to rebirth if you have it obviously um go right hand just like kd actually i'm gonna go back put it put it at 35 just like kd you know or it's seven it don't matter y'all y'all can do either or i'm gonna do seven it don't matter but back to the video i'm gonna go with uh power forward 610 go ahead and make them 210 and lower your wingspan all the way so you have enough attributes and stuff this build's not going to play much defense but you can do everything else first of all let's put our driving dunk to a 73 oops my bad 73 and then let's put our standing dunk to a 90 so that you can standing dunk get rise up as soon as we put our vertical up all that good stuff and then for our three or our three-point shot, we're gonna go with 85. I feel like that's all you really need. 85 is like really chicken on this game. And put our midi up all the way to a 92. So you get that half guard up, half everything. You can adjust this build the way you want, but this is just how I do it personally, just to save some room for other stuff. Like you'll see later, like ball handle and uh, steel and stuff like that. Put our free throw up to a 74. You need to knock something down. And now it's part ball handle is 76 all the way, and then your speed with ball is 70. So you could kind of dribble with this build. You'll have some six here and there. I mean, I will eventually figure it out because I haven't really made the build. I haven't really, you know, put any like VC onto it or nothing. But this build is definitely like souped still. Like you could do it all. Still have 90 dunk, 92 mid, 85 three. Like you could do damn near anything. And let's put pass back to a 70. No, it's pretty low, but I mean, you don't really need the highest pass accuracy as far as like needing the, uh, what's it called? I'm trying to think of a word here. You, you don't need to throw the, the missiles on this build because regardless, you're going to do it. You're going to throw decent enough passes in this game to where it's going to be successful. And let's go down to our, our block. I'm going to put our block all the way up to an 87 and then keep the interior at a 73 so you get that. Or you could do 72 to get that uh, silver anchor right there. And then we're going to put our perimeter to a 50. I know it's pretty low, but I mean, you're not going to have much availability to upgrade anything anyway. So that's why I keep it at 50. I mean, it's there's going to be weaknesses within builds this year because you just can't make the 6.9s from 2K23, the 6.7s from 2K22. Like, like those type of, you can't really make those anymore. So that's why it's so low. And then steel is like a 60. Oh, let me see something. Yeah, I think steel 60 because you're not going to get much with glove on bronze and right stick ripper on bronze anyway. So might as well just keep it at that. And our defensive rebound is at 80. You can low key just keep your offensive rebound at 45. But for my preference and get like other attributes like driving layup or something or pass act or more steel, more perimeter, whatever the case may be. I could I could just do that or I could just go with a 70 just so I get some sort of rebounds in the paint and all that stuff You know cuz KD I know I know KD be lurking he low key gets boards IRL too like you know he gonna be snagging and stuff like that and then for our speed gonna max that out to a 76 and put our excel at a 70 just so we get something and I like my strength at a 75 just to get a or 71 just to get a movable forcer on or actually do 73 because what's it called physical handles goes up to a gold so that's pretty good too i like that badge Perver up to 82 i feel like this is what matters the most for rebounding the vert just because like i don't know you just jump up like crazy with that vertical and stuff like that and everything and as you can see you get all these gold badges right here and per stamina to a 92 99 works as well, but 92 just the, the threshold for workhorse. And then you can do whatever you want. Personally, for me, what I personally would probably do is just do this. Driving layup or something. 
something like that, or just put your driving dunk up. Something you just get a badge in, close shot maybe, just to make more close layups. Pass sack, you're not really going to get much. Terry, you're not going to get much. 52, Prim. I mean, you could just put up whatever you want for real. I'll just put up my vert a little bit, get more vert, and then put up your stamp, and then boom. This is the build. I mean, you can copy it however you want to, however you want to adjust it, but this is probably the overall best build as far as like KD. You can standing dunk with... Gold rise up, precision dunker, silver fast twitch. You have some driving dunk. You also have some layup. You have a little bit of close shot. Like you have a 92 mid range, so you could like post fade, work on your hop jumpers, spin jumpers like KD does IRL. You know, and you have a 53 so you can definitely knock it down with like bronze limitless and agent threes and stuff like that. You also have gold, play more green machine, hop guard up. All these badges that are really key to your success in the shooting area. And then this 70 pass sack is all you really need in this game. 76 ball handle, you can kind of dribble it. And then when you get takeover, you can definitely dribble it. You're gonna, you're gonna be moving crazy with the build. 70 uh, speed with ball is good. You also get half big driver, which is cool. Kind of like that one. 72 interior is fine enough. Uh, 50 perimeter. Yeah, honestly, I have noticed this on my guard. I know it's a guard still, but I've been getting contests on my 25 perimeter, like, player with uh 33 stuff like that as long as you're close out you're fine steal you get interceptor anyways but i feel like you don't get that many lanes in the game so a high story does not really matter high block gold chase down pogo stick you know all these unnecessary badges you get silver box out beast uh bronze rebound chaser but you have an 80 rebound and you get post make playmaker i mean i guess that matters 76 b cool 70 acceleration for dribbling 73 strength is fine don't need nothing more. 83 vert, you're gonna jump up really high. 95 stamp. So yeah. Let's just go see what the build's called. And let's see. Shades of Hornets. Hmm. I feel like this is gonna be like Derek Coleman. Man, what the never mind. I ain't even gonna say another. But hey, we have made the KD build. Yeah, it's called a spot up threat. Very not organic or fresh. I wish this was called the Slim Reaper. You have built a Slim Reaper, that would have been a hard name. But, I mean, we can't we can't be, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So, yeah. But that is a KD build. Hopefully you guys liked it. You can adjust it however you guys want. So, yeah. Shout out to Ken for hooking me up with this build as well. He low-key uh, helped me out with everything. I'm going to put his uh, Twitch and Twitter in the link in the description. So, yeah, go mess with him. Appreciate y'all boys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch y'all boys later. Peace.